Good morning, my name is Robert. Happy Tuesday to you today, Calvary. I've got a question for you. How many of you have ever taken up a hobby and gotten really into it only to abandon it a few weeks or months later? See, I've been guilty of this. I have a few core hobbies that have been a part of my life for a really long time, better part of a decade. But as my wife likes to remind me, if I'm not careful, I can begin to collect hobbies. And I mean well with these. Something looks super interesting and fun and I start learning about it and getting more into it. And then life happens and I move on and I abandon that hobby. And this really isn't a big deal when it comes to hobbies, but if it happens with more significant things in our life, it can become an issue. And as we look today at Colossians chapter 1, we're going to see that. See, if you remember yesterday, Pastor Joe shared with you some encouragement of being in God's presence. And he shared how we will be reconciled to God through Christ's death on the cross on our behalf. And Paul continues with our thoughts. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 23, he says, We will be reconciled if... Indeed, you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, he says, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a minister. See, as I hear this, it reminds me of Jesus in the parable of the sower, in which Jesus uses an allegory to describe what happens to various people when they hear the good news of the gospel. Some immediately reject the gospel, Some receive it with joy, but then difficulties hurt their faith and cause them to stop following. Some receive it, but then are overwhelmed with the concerns and cares of this world, and their faith gets choked out and pushed aside. And finally, some receive it and grow in their faith. And what Paul is encouraging us here is to be that last option, and really encouraging not to be like those who hear the gospel and begin to follow and then wander away like you did with your last hobby attempt. Because the only way Jesus will really transform our life is when we make the commitment to truly follow him and not treat him like an interesting hobby to explore for a season. So today I hope and pray that you would continue in your faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you have heard, but truly committing to following Jesus with your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.